In a previous video a couple months ago, I showed you how to make a USB-C to lightning cable. And in that, I showed you the general process that you needed to do when soldering your cable, but I kind of waved my hand and said, you just match colors, stick them together, and that's it. I didn't actually show you how to connect the two ends of the wires together. There's a lot of different ways to do this. I want to show you in this video my way that I use whenever I'm soldering stranded wires together. The process is a little bit different for solid core wire, but when you're using stranded wire, I have a certain method that I use that seems to work pretty well. So in this video, I wanna show you how you can solder stranded wire together, which will help you if you're soldering any USB cable or if you're trying to follow along with our video that we made on how to make a USB-C to lightning cable. So the first thing we will need is our USB cable. I have already stripped this and I have already twisted them. I'll talk about that in a second. We will need our soldering station with solder and then we will also need some flux. I only have paste flux right now. I have this stuff right here. So that's what I'm working with. This actually is pretty good when you're working with wires. When you're doing something on a PCB, you may want um, liquid flux, but this one is okay. So we'll be using this and I'll show you that in a second as well. Aside from that, that's pretty much all we need to do. So once we do have these wire strips, we're gonna go ahead and we will twist them together. So I have my wires right here. As you can see, I've already twisted them. Um, when they come out of the inside of the wire, they are all just kind of loose and hanging there. So what you want to do is just kind of push all of these wires down off to the side, take one of them, bring it up to the top, and then just pinch it. And then we just twist the wire around in circles to make our wires all twisted together and more solid, just like that. So that's the way that you um, twist these together so they're stranded, but then now they are solid. Once we do this, we are going to go ahead and take our flux right here. This is um, solid paste, like I said, and we'll take one end of the wire. I'll just take this one that I already have right here, and then we will just take our wires, point them straight out like this, and then just poke it through the flux and now our wire has a uh, flux on it on the outer side of it so we'll just repeat this process for the four wires on only one side of it we're not going to do the other side only half of the wire we will cover in flux so again just kind of poke it in there and then you should have enough flux on there for it to work pretty well after we have covered four of the eight wires in flux we will just go ahead and um, prepare our soldering iron. I am not the most experienced when it comes to soldering and this isn't necessarily a video on how to solder, um, but generally what you wanna do is just get enough solder on the iron. If it was properly tinned, which this one is not, you usually get some solder on there. And the purpose of the flux is that it's gonna make it a whole lot easier for us to get our solder on the wire. So I've got already a tiny bit of solder on here and then what we're going to do is we'll take our wire, stick the solder iron underneath and you can see that smoke coming off. That is the flux burning and so we should have it enough flux on there for it to stick and that is pretty much it. So we already had our solder on the tip so we just stuck it underneath that flux, sucked it up, and that distributed it through the entire wire. So we didn't really have to do any um, solder on top of the iron in order to melt that. So we'll do a little bit more, move on to the next wire. And we just repeat this process for pretty much all of this. At this point, all of our wires are sufficiently covered in solder. In fact, they are pretty solid. They don't bend that much because they are covered pretty well. But the point of this is that now we're going to wrap our other end of the wire around this solid piece of metal now, and then we'll melt them together. So what I have done here is I've taken the solid piece of wire that we put our solder on and I just basically wrapped the unsoldered end around that. 
So now we will just take a tiny bit of solder, not much at all is needed, just enough to help transfer the heat. And then we basically just place it under the wire and let them melt together. The soldered wire has solder on it already. And so this is basically just gonna melt it and they're just gonna to fuse together. They melt together through that and they become solid. You can add a little bit of extra if you want in certain places like the corners where you think they may be needed. But for the most part, you don't need to do much of anything. If you got enough solder on the first wire you shouldn't need to do anything extra. They should just melt together when you do that. And now these are solid. They're not coming apart. And we just repeat this process for the rest of them as well. done our wire is soldered together that is pretty much it simple and straightforward pretty strong you can figure out what you want to do um, with the mess of wires usually I use electrical tape to wrap around this and then I um, heat shrink the whole outside of it um, but you can figure that out on your own depending on what you want to do with it but that's pretty much it they're attached simple and straightforward takes no more than like five minutes once you actually know what you're doing. So it's fairly easy. If you have any questions, let me know. And that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.